Hey guys, Superturn here. Welcome back to Let's Play This. I'm still not going to try to pronounce the name of We're going to a new area, Mountain Pass. So I don't recognize this. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't crouch. We can slide, but we can't crouch. I think the slide actually will do damage. Yes, it will. The slide will do damage. And you do have some... I don't think you have iframe. No, you have iframes, it looks. Kind of. The invulnerability frames in this game are weird. The best source of invulnerability frames is this. Without a doubt. That ability is what allowed me to defeat several bosses in this game. Including, as you'll see when we get there, the bonus boss. Because, yes, there's a bonus boss in this. And I really... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why I need uh, fire. I kind of like the bonus boss in this. And, like, I, I acknowledge fully, because the bonus boss is 100% reference. 110% reference, and I've just got my butt kicked. But I enjoy the bonus boss for what it is. Primarily because I never actually fought the boss it's referencing. I just got my butt kicked. In Venom, Puff of Cloud that inflicts a poison status can be charged. I doubt I'll ever equip that outside of showing you guys off, because... I'm... You've basically seen the only remaining, like, Fire Orb and uh, the Dodge. Those are the only two moves I'm ever going to use. And while the other sword we could have bought is better than the uh, Pommel Saber, I'm going to equip it for now. By the way, it's hard to see currently, but the animation for the weapons does change. Uh, hats and weapons, I believe, are the only things that change. And that's a pretty useful item. If you're just like going into an area to look for something or whatnot, it lets you just teleport out freely to the world map. Kafra Services. Don't know the reference. I just don't. I have no clue where these sprites come from. Dawn of Sorrow. Uh, this boss, however, is kind of fancy. The Griffin. Griffin attacks primarily by charging at you. I should have dodged that, but I'm stupid. And it can charge up a tornado attack. And I'm just going to eat that tornado attack to the face. And I'm going to keep attacking with Fireball. Damn it. I could have hit her. I, I'm assuming this is a her. Why do I assume Griffins are girls? What has it in me make me assume that a griffin is a girl? By the way, if you're able to catch them mid-charge, uh, you can uh, interrupt the actual charge. It's not as simple as you might think it to be. Oh, this griffin's already almost dead. Actually, already dead. It's not that powerful. That's why I didn't want to buy the shoes. The feather joggers. Yeah... Yeah, these are only going to be removed at one point. And our defense drops by 35. Those are only going to be removed at one point because I like to go faster. That's also the only thing that Aerie had. Next up, we have two areas open to us. The Geffen Tower. Oh yeah, I remember what's there. And the Luton Toy Factory. We're going to go to the Toy Factory first. Music? I don't feel this music is very wintery, but that's my own view. Oh, yeah. That's right. Bears! The bear is kind of a fun enemy. Kind of dangerous, and I... I need to get a certain item going forward, which I don't have yet. Joy. Oh, well. Um... Let's throw a point in the decks. And grab Meteor Salt. Oh, yeah. What do I need for this? We need four ints. Why do we need two more ints? Let me show off these decks. So, up, down. Up, up, down. That's the other good combo, and it would have helped me to remember I had that. By the way, you can kind of walk into here, pick up items. That was probably what I was thinking about when I was thinking about destructible walls. I don't think there are really destructible walls in this game. By the way, ice. Ice. Bear! 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 Ooh, that looks promising. Yes, that was... Let's look at the item again, because I skipped it real quickly. 
Wild Cuisine, a barbecue dish of various wild games marinated to the point of mouth-watering perfection. It is a healing item, and I'm actually really glad I got that. Ooh, it's Chef Hat from a Gator. What's this Chef Hat do? Because I would kind of like to have a new hat. Chef Hat increases the drop rate of food. Doesn't actually increase armor, but it increases the drop rate of food. And now you have a Chef Hat with Cat Ears now. And those guys blowing up. Oh yeah, and the uh, audio looping at some point is kind of bad. So that's just one more thing to keep in mind. I kind of like that that bear just kind of had a... He knew he was going to die, and he just kind of cheered on his way down. It's kind of great. Alright, I need to get the map off. Or my mouse off. Now that there's going to be a bunch of drops, I'm going to like going into this area. You drop one thing I really want to get my hands on. Really want to get my hands on. And then the bear drops another. For now, though, another secret area. Local man needs food. Well, it just so happens we got food. This is food. You're welcome. And you're drooling. And you're drilling. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll take payment for this. I mean, we weren't promised payment to begin with. We were just helping feed a, a hungry man. And then you're just giving out specially sanctioned equipment meant for soldiers in night in exchange for getting food. I suppose if you're hungry enough, on fitting protective helmet. I'm not going to wear it yet. I know where I'm definitely going to wear it because I'm going to need it at that point. But I'm not going to wear it yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to go up there and kill you because I kind of want the thing you drop. Kind of really want the thing you drop. And I'm going to keep killing you until you drop it. Bears. Oh, hey, I got it. Ooh, right. That's going to be the other useful thing to have. A thick coat that defends against freezing weather. I'm going to equip that, like, immediately because it has better armor and everything else, and there's literally no reason not to equip it. But, of course, your character is still wearing as skimpy as usual because reasons. Frost Cyber, that was a sub-item, I believe. Yes. I'm going to have to spend some time showing off all the everything at some point because I have no intention of using, like, anything else. I have, like, all the sub-weapons I'm going to use in this game. All of the sub weapons I'm going to use in this game. And I'm going to get his freaking sword. He just dropped. Spoilers, he drops the sword. And I'm going to get it. So. And yes, those are bottomless death pits. Be careful of them. I'm going to uh, loop through here sometimes until the one up top drops the thing I want. Hopefully, get a decent bit of money in the process. Because I could use money. Money is always something I can use. Always something I can use. Oh yeah, you can stun the enemies with the uh, up combo, which is another good reason to use it, I suppose. I'm going to level up like this attempt. Yeah, because I think he'll give me 2%. Nope. Oh, yes he did. But he didn't drop the item. So I'll see you guys when he drops the item. As soon as I level up. Actually, because I want to show you what I level up. Um, I need int for something. I need int for this. How important is it for me to have that? Important enough. I'll put a point in, and then I'll save my points because then I'll be. Hmm. I want to get that, and I need another dex for that, so I can go for that easily enough. Oh yeah, let's take the, the rising fang. Does more damage. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I like that you can actually see how much damage you're doing, and I'm just talking despite the fact I said I was going to cut away. I'm really good at cutting away. Really good at cutting away. So I should probably just shut up until I'm actually, like, done and got what I want. Ah, oh, perfect. That didn't take much longer at all. Falcon Talon. New weapon. It is... It has a... First of all, it has a new element on it, which is nice. And I really do like the actual appearance of it. New element, more damage. It's just all around good to have. And I'm possibly very happy I got the uh, 
the uh, winter coat because of what's coming up ahead with the boss of this area. I think I just hit behind me a little bit. That's interesting. There's really no reason for me not to use the... Uh... Alright. That is one thing I need to be careful of, is to not fall to my doom because... Because reasons. Oh, hey, we got another item here. This is explosive feet. Auto cast magnum break whenever you perform a slam or dropping attack. Okay, that's jump. That would possibly be useful. Maybe. Actually, is that? That's not an equip. Is I think that's an accessory actually. No. Dude, is that just an item I have? Sub weapon. Shoes. It's shoes. Okay. That explains it. All right. Any yellow potion? Just gives us a lot more health. That seems like a lot of health now. It's not that much health by the event. And remember how this is supposed to be a toy factory? Yeah, we're about to start seeing the actual toy factoriness. Oh, crap. I almost made that blow up my face. Almost made that. Oh, yeah, you can also. I made that blow up my face. And little angry if it animation. But uh, you can actually hear the lightning shocks of when I use the weapon. When I do use the weapon, because I don't seem to use it often. Because all the special attacks are so good in this. Uh, so many traps. I think that background is from Castlevania. Football renders you immune to slippery ice and quicksand for a short duration. That'll be useful later on, believe me. And so much damage I can do. Come on, come on, go away. Go over here, I'm gonna stab you a bunch. That attack is very powerful for me. I know this up combo and down is also powerful, but I found the down, this right here, is just a lot better in a lot of cases. Just so much damage it can pull out. So much damage it can pull out in a short period of time. Ooh, plus two strength. Now then, there are accessories and items in this game that will increase your uh, basic stats. By the way, gravity field. That will increase your basic stats. And these are useful to wear, for the most part. Like, let me show you off that, because we just got, as we saw beforehand, the power ring. Plus two to strength. The only difference, or problem with these, is for various items that have a, uh, a stat requirement, it does not fulfill those, as is understandable, because technically otherwise you'd be able to just put them on and then um, be perfect. Another weapon. Technically, the one we could buy from the shop is still better than this one as well, though it's based on dex, not strength, which could, in theory, make it better for you. I don't know. I still like the uh, lightning sword the most. And because I have massive wall jumping skills, I'm just not gonna do anything. By the way, yeah, those guys, I don't know if we've seen them attack yet, but they do that. They open up their big, ugly mouth. And they just do that. Ooh, nice. A lot of health. I'm not going to need that health because there should be a safe going up. This, by the way, is why I wanted the slide. You can't get in there without the slide. I'm probably never going to use that sub weapon, which was Glacial Spike, I do believe. But it was nice to have it regardless. And I am at least going to try to get everything I can safely get. Which I'm not at all expecting to be everything because I'm not... From behind. Hmm. I really do like having the wall jump into this game. That's one thing I definitely do really enjoy that this game does that some others might not. And understandable in, some, in their cases. I'm not going to bemoan them for it too much. But just the mobility. The sheer mobility you have from the start. It's like, yeah, you don't have like double jump or slide or anything. But you can wall jump. And that does a lot. And now we're about to fight a boss. I need to put evasion on probably good. I'll leave it. I'm going to put the helmet on. Because this boss is going to be tricky. And I like the, I like what the helmet looks like on your head, at least. Which I suppose means I'm going to leave it on for the majority of the game now. I also feel like this is a Mega Man boss, but I don't actually know. Uh, probably. We're going to hopefully prove you wrong. Hopefully. 
Stormy Knight. Alright, so... Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, need to remember. Whenever he dodges away... I need to actually do my dodge, because he will leave a trail behind him. Alright, I'm gonna actually have to hold off, it looks, because I'm doing really good, because... I have him down to real health already. So this is his final attack. It is a pain in the dick. Primarily because of those there. If you did not have the winter coat on like I do, you would be frozen and be pushed back by the wind. Because yes, there's a wind effect there. You'd be frozen and pushed back every time that happens. And yeah, just farming for a few useful drops in his area makes this really good. And hello, ghost lady, though... You have various static-ish lines on your portrait that makes it look like you're talking through a rather a uh, communi communicator, like a codec or something. And with only your lips exposed, I no longer trust you as much. You kind of had this eerie thing to you before, but with just your lips, it doesn't feel right. It, yeah, because now your full your actually image is over there, but your portrait still just has your lips. But yes, this was actually one of the first four Guardians, so... Go us! We killed him with literally minimal issues compared to my first time through. And technically, my half of the first and my... Yeah, yeah, details. <sighs> Only five to go, at least. I wish we knew the names of who you're representing. That would be useful, I feel. And she's gone. And we leave. I said this little portrait thing has your little your little mascot on it. We're gonna have to go to Geffen Tower next, but let's head back to town first because stuff we can buy. Definitely stuff we can buy. Potions? Any new potions? Yes, because now she sells blue potions, which refill your SP. These are gonna be useful towards the very end. Yellow potions, which refill your refill your HP. Pretty good. We it's just a better red potion. And then foot balm, which we won't really need again for a long time. Blacksmith. Blacksmith. I suppose I'll eventually have to buy that just to fill it out. Eventually have to buy that just to fill it out. The Ice Climbers would have been useful. Eh. Not that worried about it. The Tights. Don't hinder movement. They are the Archer's favorite. That is a lot of... Those are literally just fishnet stock. Okay, then. And Chainmail. Chainmail is very nice, but we probably need a bit more strength for it. I'm going to buy it anyway, and let's just start buying everything else to fill out the, the inventory. And I don't think anyone else has anything new to say, so really the only reason you're going to be coming back to town is to do shopping. And it's usually a good idea to come back between every real map to see what new there is to buy. But I think that's going to be enough for this episode. So this has been Silver Torn with... I still cannot pronounce the name of this game. I, I'm sorry. It's like, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna hate myself, but I'm gonna try. Wikibine Kigyoden. There, I tried. You can all get off my back. I don't expect many of you were actually yelling at me to try. But now you can get off my back. I've tried. I'm not gonna do it ever again. I'll see you guys all next time. Later.